Assalamualaikum. The topic of discussion for today is jaundice. At the end of this lecture, you must be able to know what is jaundice, what are the various causes of jaundice, and differentiate between the various types of jaundice. For the understanding of jaundice, you must know the total, the normal value of the bilirubin in the blood, that is one grams per deciliter. Whenever the plasma level of the bilirubin rises more than one grams per deciliter, it will lead to the condition called as jaundice. How the bilirubin level can be increased in the blood? We know that bilirubin is formed by the hemolysis of the RBCs. Whenever after 120 days, RBCs membrane become fragile, they will undergo hemolysis and more bilirubin will be formed. This is the unconjugated bilirubin that is water insoluble. It cannot pass through the kidney. So, this unconjugated bilirubin will be transported via the blood to the liver where conjugation will take place and then it is treated via feces and urine both. This Vandenberg reaction we will study later in the next slide. How will you define jaundice? It is defined as the increased level of the plasma bilirubin more than 1 grams per deciliter. Now, the causes of the jaundice. It may be due to the increased production of the bilirubin by excessive hemolysis of RBCs. It may be due to the decreased uptake by the liver cells or the hepatocyte. It can be due to the disturbed intracellular protein binding and conjugation of the bilirubin. It may be due to the disturbed secretion of the conjugated bilirubin into the bile, resulting in excessive bilirubin in the body. It can be due to the intra or extra hepatic bilirubin duct obstruction leading to the obstructive jaundice. Now, what are the types of jaundice? There are three types of jaundice, prehepatic, hepatic and the post-hepatic. Hepatic is also called as the hepatocellular and the post-hepatic is also called as the obstructive jaundice. There are various causes of the prehepatic jaundice. Prehepatic is also called as hemolytic jaundice. It may be due to the excessive antigen-antibody reaction. It can be due to the congenital defect in the structure of the RBCs, for example, hereditary spherocytosis, in which RBCs become spherical shaped, which are very fragile, resulting in excessive hemolysis. It can be in the sickle-shaped hemoglobin, which causes damage to the RBCs, resulting in excessive unconjugated bilirubin. There is excessive amount of the bilirubin is presented to the liver due to the excessive hemolysis and it will lead to the increased unconjugated bilirubin in serum. Now, the hepatic or the hepatocellular jaundice. It can be due to the excessive alcohol consumption. It cause may be due to the viral hepatitis, cirrhosis of liver or the hepatocellular carcinoma. In hepatic or the hepatocellular jaundice, there is impaired cellular uptake, defective conjugation, or abnormal secretion of the bilirubin by the cells. So, in the plasma, both conjugated and the unconjugated bilirubin will be rise. Post-hepatic is also called as the obstructive jaundice. Its cause may be due to the error in the bile secretion, so no bile will be entering into the intestines. No conjugation occurs and no urobilinogen will be formed. It may be due to the stone or any tumor mass or cancerous tumor into the bile duct. So, liver, there is bile in the liver, but it will not enter into the intestines. So, pressure will be raised in the liver and so is the unconjugated bilirubin in the serum. Very important university question is the difference between the various types of jaundice, prehepatic, hepatic, and the post-hepatic. First is the type of the bilirubin elevated. In prehepatic jaundice, because of excessive hemolysis, there will be more unconjugated bilirubin. In hepatic, there will be both unconjugated and conjugated bilirubin increased. And in post-hepatic, only conjugated bilirubin will be rise because of obstruction in the flow of bile. What is this Vandenberg test? This test is used to determine the level of the bilirubin either conjugated or the unconjugated in the serum. If conjugated bilirubin is present, then it will give purple color within the 30 seconds. While if the unconjugated bilirubin is raised in the serum, then it will give purple color after 30 minutes by the addition of alcohol. 
What is the reagent that is used for this Vandenberg test? This is the diazo reagent, which consists of sulfonylic acid plus HCl plus sodium nitrate. So the conjugated bilirubin will give purple color within 30 seconds, while the unconjugated will give purple color after 30 seconds, but after the addition of alcohol. In the urine, conjugated bilirubin is absent in case of prehepatic jaundice. Urobilinogen is positive and bile salts are absent. But in case of hepatic jaundice, conjugated bilirubin will be rise. Urobilinogen initially will be rise. But in case of any obstruction, there will be decrease in urobilinogen. And the bile salts are present in urine. In case of post-hepatic jaundice, conjugated will be rise more. There will be no urobilinogen and bile salts will be more. What is the urine color? In case of prehepatic, it will be normal. In case of hepatic and post-hepatic, urine appearance will be dark. Tool color. It is dark brown in color in prehepatic jaundice. It is normal in color in hepatic or clay colored stools will appear in post-hepatic or the obstructive jaundice due to the absence of stercopylin. Liver enzymes. ALT and AST will be normal in the prehepatic because there is no abnormality in the liver. In hepatic, there will be remarkably higher liver enzymes. And in post-hepatic, ALT, AST will be rise. ALP levels. They are normal in case of prehepatic jaundice, two to three times increased in hepatic, but remarkably high in obstructive or the post-hepatic jaundice.